You're watching InfoLive TV for Wednesday, April 2nd. I'm Elisha Rabin. There are two stories, but no clear answer. An Arabic-language London Daily reports Syria has been calling up soldiers for reserve duty as it prepares for what it believes will be an Israeli attack on Hezbollah. The report says Syria thinks Israel would then cross the border into Syrian territory. The top military brass in Syria deny the report. They do think Israel is planning a strike, but said no specific preparations are being made. A major policy shift for Hamas, exiled leader Khaled Mashal said that Hamas will accept a 2006 agreement among Palestinian leaders to make a peace settlement if a Palestinian state is established in the pre-1967 borders. At the same time, Mashal demanded that Palestinians have the right to move to Israel proper and that Jerusalem be made the capital of a future Palestinian state. Mashal did not shift from Hamas's founding treaty, which calls for Israel to be destroyed. Negotiations between the government and people living in unauthorized villages in the West Bank have accomplished a consensus. The government and those living in unrecognized houses agreed on an evacuation plan that would dismantle five villages that were created without government permission. Ehud Barak has committed to dismantling 21 outposts in the West Bank after U.S. President George Bush urged Israel to take goodwill measures toward the Palestinians. 52% of the world sees Israel unfavorably. That's according to a worldwide poll by the BBC. Only Iran scored lower in the rankings. The number is a step up, though, from last year. Polls in 2007 show that 57% of the world viewed Israel unfavorably then. The U.S. also made gains this year, but was still beat out by Brazil, the EU, India, and China. It's a big game for Chelsea. The Israel coach team heads to Istanbul tonight to play the top club in Turkey. It's Chelsea's first foray into the Championship League's quarterfinal in quite a long time. Chelsea turned heads last week when it beat Arsenal. Former Tel Aviv Maccabi coach Avram Grant coaches Chelsea. You're watching Info Live TV, Israel's only internet TV network, broadcasting in four languages from Jerusalem.